All right, if you have a magazine that just does not feed your heavyweight BBs or does not keep up with your insane rate of fire you've got, you've already pulled the mag spring out and you've stretched it and it still just isn't doing its job, this is an alternative that you can use that I would highly recommend. Um, I started replacing my AEG mag springs with Veneris PTW mag springs. It became very hard to get them, so a company in Canada called, April Mer or called Maple Airsoft Supply contacted me and asked me for measurements on them. I gave it to them and voila. We now have their super feed series of uh, springs. So they're based out of Canada. I'll have a link in the description below to get the springs. But first, let me show you a video trying to feed Mad Bull 3.6s through a magazine and then Amp's defective batch of uh, four threes through a magazine. All right, now that you've seen those, you saw the three sixes, they did feed a little slow, but they did feed. The amp ones just didn't feed at all. So, replacing one of these springs, I'll show you the result, what happens afterwards. I've already put them in my KWA 120s, my Magpul AK mags, and my, uh, I got a couple different brands of these, the Classic Armies, A and Ks, <clears throat> and even I think the Evic brand. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on a KWA 120 magazine. Every mid cap's gonna be roughly the same but in a nutshell, they're going to be the same. Just this is how I do it to a K120 mag. First start with taking off the base plate, little button on the bottom. Push that in, slide the base plate off. Boom. Pretty simple with these. Push from the top. Mags out. I got a little bit of some lube on these. If you got anything on it, just wipe it down, clean it, whatever. Um, now if you look on the bottom here, there's going to be a little little push button there. Basically, we're just going to push that up and out. And if you look on the out, on the other side, there's a little door here. When we push that, it's going to pull this door out, and you're going to basically pull it out. Top of my finger, you can see that it's coming out. Basically pull up. Hold on to it so the spring doesn't go. If your spring's dead and sucks, it's not going to go far. That one kind of sprung a little bit, but... Then pull your spring out. Now these mags have two pieces in them. Not every magazine has that. But you're going to have your follower on the, magazine, on the end of the mag spring. Pull that off with the old spring. I'm just going to toss it. So, take your new super feed spring. Take your follower and simply stick it in. It should snap. If it doesn't, maybe put it on there and maybe just kind of squeeze a little bit of some pliers to ensure that it stays on there. You don't want this falling off of the spring. Now for the K120 mags, stick this piece back in. Now here's where you might get tripped up. It's really not rocket science. Just take it, start feeding it in. And you're gonna notice as I'm feeding the spring, it's tight now. Okay, cool. Well, I've got a ton left over. Well, as they were making the spring, they did this on purpose. They lift it really long. That way you can accommodate pretty much in theory any mag you're going to throw at it, whether it be a gas blowback mag or a, you know, whatever the three or varies that I have there or whatever you want to put it in. So how long do you got to cut it? That's kind of up to you. Um, if you were to cut it, let's just say right here right now, you got to figure once I insert this, there's not going to be very much tension on the spring. Is it still going to work once you put BBs in it? Absolutely you'll probably retain your 120 of this mag supposed to hold. I, on the other hand, like to kind of do the opposite. I like to cut it cut it a little long. You have to kind of force it in there a little bit. It does take my count, let's say, from a 120 mag, maybe down to like 90 or 100, but I don't care. The spring's got that much more force. Um, that being said, I have noticed on some other people's guns, if you do have a really soft bucking in it, it may cause your gun to double feed. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Let's just cut it about uh, like right here which has a lot of excess left over, so I don't know if you have some projects you want to tinker around the house with or 
Fuck if I know. There you go, some extra spring. Slide that on. Whoop. Basically just push this back in. A little more of a fight this way, but there you go. Spring is in there. Reverse. Put your base plate back on. And boom, that magazine's done. It's really that simple. Um, if you want to, you can cut a little longer than the spring. If you want a little more tension on it, you want to cut a little shorter, it's up to you. Um, nonetheless, the link will be in the description below. I'm going to show you a quick video here now what this magazine does afterwards. Well, there you saw it. The Mad Bull 36s, they launched out of it, um, and even the amp ones fed. So, if you guys have any other heavier BBs, the heaviest I bring is 4.3s, and they all feed like a champ through it. If you guys do have any other heavyweights you guys try out with them, throw it in the comments below. If you guys have any other magazines you guys do use, throw the comments below. That way, anybody else that comes on here can kind of have an answer for them. Um, again, it's Maple Airsoft Supply Base out of Canada. Link in the description will be for them. They come in a three-pack. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, leave it in the comments below. Have a good one.